Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we are going to unbox and take a quick look at the Gundam Universe Wing Gundam from the Gundam Wing anime. So let's take a quick look at the box first. We have uh, the Gundam Universe logo, the new mobile uh, Gundam Wing logo over there. We have an, a small but nice uh, quick window to take a quick look at the figure here. Really cool uh, picture here. Wing Gundam here. We have the Bandai and Tamachination logo over there. Down here, nice picture. Nice pictures over there. And here we have the back. You can pause the video if you want to read that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get inside the box. So which side am I going to open? I think I try this one. Okay, there we go. Come on. I'm gonna angle the camera a little bit downward so you can see better. So. Here's everything you get in the box. Let's put the box over there. And there's the wing. I really like that they give you, you know, there's two plastic. There's a plastic cover, so nothing falls off. So let's take this apart here. Nice. And you can see you have to install the wings here. One disappointment. Oh, I'm going to put the shield there. One disappointment I'm seeing already is he doesn't come with a beam saber. I'm going to put the wing over there. Let's put his wings on. So he comes with a few things. He has this uh, action base attachment here. Basic action base attachment. No idea why he doesn't want to focus here. Put that I'm just going to put back in the box because that's basically useless. And here's everything you get with the wing. So the figure here. Really nicely uh, painted and detailed. One of the nice uh, thing about the Gundam universe is, is that they have uh, a very sharp looking design. Which is uh, my sharp. The skirts here are very sharp. <laughs> you could poke your eyes out with these. So yeah. I really like the paint on the figure here. So yeah, one of the downside of this is that while this is an action figure that you can, you're supposed to move, it also loses the main gimmick feature of the wing is that he cannot transform in his uh, burn mode here. So yeah, that's one of the major major bad things about this figure that you have to take into consideration before buying. So these are the wings. So let's put them on their side. No, there's no, they're pretty much the same. So there's uh, some ball joints here. I think you put them in like that. Kind of hard to go in, but oh, and there are some articulations in the wings. So that's actually nice. And can move them uh, up and down and rotate them. 
let's try and pose him. There we go. So articulations are going to be, well, pretty much this part here, the claw moves, so you can uh, move, but it hinders the articulations a bit. And it has a double joint uh, elbow here. The uh, hands are uh, on a ball joint. The skirt armor moves that far up. And the legs go that far. Unfortunately, the skirt here in the back doesn't move, so he's, he can only go that far in the back. He has double jointed uh, knees here. So he has a pretty good range of motions, I'd say. Now he comes with the uh, shield here, and I'm seeing some uh, no idea how to. Oh, oops! So the the handle flew off. So there's the handle. Oh, I get. So you have to unpeg the handle, I guess, and uh, yeah, peg it back like that, maybe, so he can hold it. Yeah, I guess that's how he's gonna hold it. I don't know what this thing here is, but the paint is nice. You can see, really nice paint job here. Then he has his uh, his Buster Rifle, which is pretty simple. I wish they gave more uh, paint on this here. They've painted the canyons or something, because just a plain gray, dark gray part with just a little bit of yellow. I didn't even paint the some detailing here, so it's bad. And he comes with this here, which I believe is going to be needed for the shield. And he comes with one trigger hands for the right hand and uh, one hand for holding the shield. Unfortunately, you cannot swap them. I wish they gave you two trigger finger. And he comes already with two closed fists on his uh, hands. So let's see the instructions. The instructions that tell you how to put in the uh, wings. And there's a right and left wings. I have no idea if I put them correctly. I hope I did. They look pretty much the same on each side to me. Yeah, pretty much the same. Uh, we, he has interchangeable hands and... Oh yeah, so how to put the shield? Ah, so you're, you are supposed to use this little uh, round piece here. And you're supposed to... So you're supposed to hold it like this here and plug it here like that. And now he's supposed to hold the shield. So we're going to take this hand, comes off really easy. And uh, you're supposed to take this out and put his hands inside. So the hands are a bit soft, so you can easily put them in. So that's, yeah, he's going to hold it like that. Okay, so the hands are quite soft, so that's a nice thing. And then you're going to peg the shield like that. And you're supposed to. Yeah, that's not a. Uh... I'm gonna make a quick jump cut here. And I'm back. So, yeah, you're... I recommend putting the handle on the hand first, then clicking the uh, shield upstairs. And now you see he's holding the shield. Then we're going to take this 
hands off and put the buster rifle in. Again, you're gonna put it like that here and twist. And there you go. There's the wing in them. And he looks quite good, to be honest. He's really good looking. I like uh, the look. I wish they really gave. I really wish they gave him the uh, the beam sword here. He doesn't have his beam saber. But oh well. So yeah, he has some very really good articulations and all that. Here's the uh, Gundam Infinity version of him. So they are the. Uh, He's way cheaper, but he's uh, 15 bucks, and he's uh, and the Gundam Universe was is uh, 30 to 40 bucks. So you can see the price. And he comes with the beam saber, by the way. He has also the Buster rifle, but uh, I lost it. But yeah, you can see the how tall he is. There is next to the uh, mobile suit in action wing Gundam. So. That's an old figure, and that's a way older figure. And this one can transform, by the way. You can see he's uh, quite a tall here. And uh, yeah, why not? Let's add him here. And there is next to the Gundam Universe heavy arms here. They're pretty much the same height here, the two of them. But the wings feels like a way slimmer design than the heavy arms here. So yeah. There you have it, that's the wing and them. Overall, a pretty good figure. I really like the uh the look. They I think they nailed the look here. He's a uh, pretty good looking. I wish he had uh, more detailings on the beam rifle here. And I really wish they gave you the sword. He need to have the sword, I think, which is one of the main cool gimmick that you could open the shield and put it inside. So yeah, that's a real bummer that didn't give you the beam saber. So, but as an action figure so to pose everywhere and, and all that, I think he's really cool looking. And I already have uh, him and heavy arms. Maybe I'll try to complete the uh, set and have the uh, Death Sight, uh, Sandrock, and uh, Shenlong next time. So, yeah, definitely a cool figure. Would I recommend you getting him? Yeah, he's actually a pretty cool figure if you're okay with uh, not having to transform him. I'd say, yeah, he's really good. Very nice piece to have uh, and add to your collection. So yeah, I do recommend him. That's it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like the video. See you next time.